The countdown doesn't stop till we get to number one. Well, now we're up to a legendary rock band. A group who haven't released an album in seven years, but they still fill stadiums. A group who in 22 years have never hit the top 40, but they have some of the most devoted fans in rock music. Fans who call themselves Deadheads, because they love the Grateful Dead. The Dead formed 22 years ago this summer in San Francisco in 1965. Now, the underground hippie movement was just beginning to happen. And it would be a couple of years before the entire country knew what it was all about. But the dead, they were right there in the middle of it, playing dances with wild, psychedelic light shows. The dead played it all. Folk, blues, early rock and roll sounds like Buddy Holly. But they became best known for long, improvisational jams that captured the audience in a hypnotic swirl of sound. Their reputation as a great live band led to a recording contract in 1967, and they released the first of 20 albums. In the late 60s and early 70s, the dead legend grew. Some of the most popular albums were live ones, two and three record sets. Oh, they released singles, all right, but the closest they ever came to the top 40 was a number 64 hit in 1971 called Truckin'. Over the years, the dead have developed a cult following all over the world. And in the 1980s, the Grateful Dead have been one of the top ten concert attractions. Now, more than ever, the dead are alive. And this week they make deadhead history, debuting for the first time in the top 40. Here they are, singing about how they survived. They sure have. At number 32, here's Touch of Grey by the Grateful Dead. beginning to think I'd never say this, but that's the Grateful Dead in our countdown with the highest debuter, Touch of Grey. It's the first top 40 hit for the veteran San Francisco band, and it comes in at number 32. This is Casey Kasem on American Top 40. Casey's Coast to Coast. Well, now we're up to the band who have just set an all-time record by waiting. They waited 17 years between the time they first hit the Hot 100 chart and then finally hit the top 40. They're a famous band from San Francisco. And they first hit the Hot 100 back in August of 1970 with this song. To the tide. From 1970, a song called Uncle John's Band hit number 69. The group who recorded it have waited 17 years since that first chart record to finally hit the top 40. And it happened just three weeks ago. The new all-time record for the longest wait between hitting the chart and then the top 40 is held by The Grateful Dead. Took 17 years, like the Dead sang in their song Truckin'. What a long, strange trip it's been. At number 15, here they are with that first top 40 hit, Touch of Grey, The Grateful Dead. Touch of Grey by the six-man band that formed in 1966 in San Francisco, The Grateful Dead. Their first top 40 hit climbed four notches to number 15. Fourth week in the survey as the countdown rocks on. You're listening to American Top 40. I'm Casey Kasem. Now, we're up to the famous band whose lead guitarist is the first musician we know of ever to have a flavor of ice cream named just for him. And what a flavor. Vanilla filled with semi-sweet chocolate bits and real Bing cherries. It's called Cherry Garcia, named for the singer and guitarist of the Grateful Dead, Jerry Garcia. The ice cream is made by a company called Ben & Jerry's. They make 36 flavors, and they say Cherry Garcia is their third most popular. Great idea, immortalizing your favorite guitarist with a clever, creamy confection. Ah, but Ben & Jerry made one goof. They forgot to ask for permission. Jerry Garcia didn't even know about it till they sent him a sample. Well, even though Jerry loved munching out on his own personal ice cream, there were some legal loose ends. So Jerry and his lawyers worked out a deal. And here's what they settled on. A portion of the royalties from sales of the ice cream will go to Jerry Garcia. And he's taking 50% of that and donating it to the Rex Foundation, a company formed by the dead to distribute money to non-profit organizations. Sounds like a pretty sweet deal, doesn't it? Now, here's the semi-sweet inspiration, the man who put the cherry in Cherry Garcia. Cherry Garcia playing with the Grateful Dead at number 17 with Touch of Grey. The legendary Grateful Dead in the top 40 at last. They took Touch of Grey to number 9 last week. Now the Dead dropped to number 17. Their songs from their top 10 album, In the Dark. On American Top 40, this is Casey Kasem. Casey's Coast to Coast. Now we're up to Don Henley's The Boys of Summer. Now, in the lyric of this song, Don makes a reference to a rock group who sell out every concert they play. But in 20 years, they've never had a hit bigger than number 64. They're mentioned in this line of the song. 
Out on the road today, I saw a deadhead sticker on a Cadillac. The Deadheads, the affectionate nickname given to fans of one of the most long-lived and most popular rock groups in America, the Grateful Dead. The Grateful Dead were born at the height of the peace and love movement back in 1965 in San Francisco, and Rolling Stone magazine recently called them the only surviving psychedelic band. In their 20-year history, the Grateful Dead have played to huge crowds at the Monterey Pop Festival, Woodstock, and at Watkins Glen in New York. Today, their concerts are consistent sellouts, with fans ranging from middle age down to teens. But for all their popularity, the Grateful Dead have never been able to push a single any higher than number 64. They did that with a song called Truckin' back in 1971, and they have never had a top 10 album. Yet, as Don Henley says indirectly in The Boys of Summer, the Grateful Dead are one of the enduring symbols of the 60s, a group whose decal you might not expect to find stuck on a Cadillac. Here's Don Henley at number 26 this week with The Boys of Summer. Texan Don Henley on American Top 40, falling from 15 to 26 with a recent Top 5 record titled The Boys of Summer from the LP Building the Perfect Beast. As the countdown continues. Casey's Coast to Coast.